I think he, he has already set the tone and tenor of the idea of India's foreign policy relationship with the US and the rest of the country as far as uh, uh, his uh, UN uh, General Assembly speech is concerned. Uh, I, I, I think uh, what we used to discuss vis-a-vis -vis India-Pakistan relationship or India-China relationship or India-Japan relationship holds equally well for Indo-US yes. relationship also. It's very necessary and very important for the State Department in Washington DC to understand that the new regime in India is different, very different from the earlier ones. Although we always say, I agree with Maru when he said that foreign policy doesn't change with the change of government, but our response mechanism will change, number one. Number two, uh, I, think, I think when the US talks of uh, partnership, strategic partnership, they should also know that what they mean by strategic partnership need not necessarily be what we mean, we understand by strategic partnership. There is a, there has been a trust deficit between the US and India for a long time. After 2009, after the Indo-US nuclear deal, nothing went ahead. Not because India did not want that to go ahead, that because some of the main important companies which were supposed to be supplying us material were all taken over by the Japanese. Even White Westinghouse has been taken over by the Japanese. So unless Indo-Japan nuclear deal takes place, Indo-US nuclear deal cannot progress as much as they want that to progress. So all these economic aspects are now becoming more and more interlinked. So Indo-US relationship is also going to hinge on Indo-China relationship and Indo-Japan relationship. And like we have relationship between Japan and China, in spite of the problems that they have, they have been investing in one another's economy for a long time. Similarly, we need Chinese investment in India for at least for a continuously for another 10 years. And this has to happen. And for that, we will have to not only recalibrate our foreign okay. policy, but also our economic policy. And that is exactly what Modi has laid out right from his 15th August speech to now. He has been saying that. But here I must mention one thing. I think but there needs to be a, a greater realization in yeah. Washington on India's problems with Pakistan. I think the US will have to re reassess their Pakistan policy and stop bracketing India with Pakistan. Pakistan is no match for India, neither economically nor militarily. Therefore, US will have to recalibrate their policy vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan and India. They have a huge problem in Afghanistan and when they are withdrawing from Afghanistan, they require Pakistan to a very large extent. But just because US has a problem in Afghanistan, we cannot be tolerating what Pakistan is doing to India for a longer time. And terrorism also affects our economic calculations. And this is exactly what the US should realize and important. And they cannot go away easily saying that good Taliban and bad yes. Taliban, that Modi has already explained. Taliban is the creation of the US, USIS is the creation of the US. Yeah. So they must realize all these facts and they must have a global understanding as far as tackling terrorism is concerned. But as far as the economic policies are concerned, as far as trust deficit is concerned, Modi has already started working on it. He has already relaxed the visa regime for some of the US issues. Yeah. Now it is for the US to relax some of the visa regimes, regimes on their side. So it's, it's going to be working out on a mutual trust building and confidence building measures. Confidence building measures, we usually talk in with and Ambassador Schaefer both to respond to you, Mr. Chari. Yeah, let's 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 get let's get let's get our participants here to quickly respond to you. I think three or four critical points. And uh, uh, Ambassador, uh, 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 Professor Stephen Cohen, would you like to just respond to Sushant Richari? Because that is the BJP point of view. He makes three points, and I just summarize that. Right. One, he says China don't expect us to not have a strong economic relationship with them. Don't hinge our relationship with you to anything with China. Secondly, raise the issue of terrorism. And third, he says on Pakistan. You have the leverage. We don't. You have more leverage with Pakistan because you provide them hundreds of millions of dollars of military and civilian assistance. Please, sir. I think Mr. Chari should come to Washington to talk to us because that's not the way I see it at all. 
I see the China relationship as one of India hedging against ch rising Chinese power, as is the, are, this are the Americans. In the case of Pakistan, it's clear that Pakistan is a provocation, but I don't see India doing anything about it. Uh, India not doing anything about yeah, it I, means I, what? I, that it's sort of passively waiting out Pakistan. And that seems to be the Modi policy, that is, we'll wait until they change. So it's a pahali up syndrome. You go first, and of course the Pakistan. I, I don't think so, but he actually invited them for a dialogue. Well, there hasn't come. I mean, the, the dialogue isn't materializing. Wait, that's so, because of the Pakistanis. You, it's, you, it's, you don't blame them? That you're, 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 I, I, I blame them, but also the Indians are responsible. What, what more can he do? What, what more can what more can yeah. India do than offer a, offer a dialogue and tell the Pakistanis speak to us and not no. don't speak to a group of separatists? I mean, um, uh, uh, well, Professor, they, 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 would the American uh, would the American government, uh, you know, talk to a group of people who haven't even participated in local city corporation elections and then say that represents the will well, of the people? They've admitted that was a mistake. So you're saying move on. Huh? Is, yeah. So you're saying move yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, okay, on your response on that, I want Shadri Chari. I saw him raise his hand there. Yes, I want to. I, he wants to rebut uh, you. Go uh, ahead, sir. Yeah. On, okay. on, on, yes. on, on this point, on this point, Arnav, on this point, let me tell. Uh, you know, we we have accommodated Washington to such an extent that when they had problems in Afghanistan, they wanted India to keep the Indo-Pakistan border trouble-free. We have kept the Indo-Pakistan border trouble-free for more than 10 years, 10 years. In spite of the highest provocation, an attack on Indian parliament, an attack in Bombay, and a continuous series of bomb blasts in India, in spite of that, we did not do. We have obliged the US State Department and the defense yeah. establishment to such an extent that we kept our western border free of. So Shefa wants to come in. He's saying, no, no. Seshadri so Chadi says we've done enough. Don't expect us to be more do do more than this or be more flexible. Our, our than Afghan this. policy was a catastrophe. We should have had India in there much earlier. We couldn't make up our mind on that. Well, you, again, why? Because of Pakistan. I think. I think. Because so. of yeah, I agree. I agree. Because but we're, of we're divided over. So the problem I is Pakistan. Mr. Ambassador Shafer. I think uh, Mr. Shari is not so much interested in what we think might have been done differently, but in how the governments relate to each other. Uh, on China, I think the United <laughs> States uh, accepts that India is going to have an important relationship with China, and in many respects, that's complementary to the the way we would like to see East Asia evolve, where. The United States and other countries, including India, have big relationships with the other big powers in the region so that China isn't the only uh, large power on the block, so to speak. Uh, on Pakistan, we've always had problems on this issue, and I think realistically that we will continue to do so. Um, we have in the United States actually a very difficult relationship with Pakistan at the moment. Uh, it's slightly better than it was two years ago, but that's not saying very much. So I think you have to look on this not as uh, a, an easy case for the United States, but one where the U.S. Uh, has considerable difficulty. Ron, Ron, Ron. So Shadri Chari, you provoke quite a conversation here. Ron Summers also responding, I presume, to some of the points which you raised out there. Yeah. Maruf, sorry, I'm going to come to you after that. Ron. Let, let us put it in perspective. Uh, the Prime Minister has to be here in Washington, D.C. and in New York yes. this morning, mobilizing massive amounts of investment to come into Absolutely. the Indian economy. Uh, by far, the United States companies are the largest investors into India, and we want to be looking at India as a long-term commitment I think that the Prime Minister clearly can distinguish the difference between U.S. government policy and private sector corporate policy. Uh, Ajay Banga this morning yes. talked about the need to build trust. That really means building confidence. Uh, when you think of Japan promising $35 billion in investment and uh, President Xi uh, talking about $15 billion, the United States is far exceeding that. And so now the question is, how do we mobilize a new sense of confidence in this new Prime Minister, in this new India, where America American companies come into India in a very, very big way. That's got to be the goal today. And therefore, I'm just hopeful that we can bring the conversation back to why business has to be the motivator. Yeah, but business is also about defense. And as Ambassador Cohen, straight at the start, business, he said, business is, business, about, business, is business is about defense. Ten years ago, we were zero dollars, essentially zero dollars in two-way defense trade. Today, we're exceeding but, but, 10 billion no, no, no. and we're growing by the hour. Yeah, but Professor Cohen's point is also well-timed. Uh, Ambassador Schaefer wanted to come in. The, Yes, go ahead, Ambassador Schiffer. Maruf, after that. Yeah. In, in many respects, the most important thing that will set the tone for U.S.-India relations is going to be how well the Indian economy does. But there's a disconnect here. When Americans, and here I'm talking both about government and about business, try to guess 
what kind of track the Indian economy is on for the next few years. They look at big government policies. I think that Mr. Modi is more interested in projects than in policies. You can do both, but it means that to some extent they're talking about different things. Uh, but, no, he talks about, uh, Ambassador, he talks about projects when he speaks because they, there is a straight connect to the people, but I don't think that can be taken as a presumption that behind it isn't a sol solid policy. Well, but that's I, I, where the payoff is going to be. That's yeah. where the payoff is going to be. Maruf, please. Yes, yes. Maruf. Three quick points. One is that Mr. Modi, if you heard his speech at Madison Square Gardens, he said projects lead to implementation of policy. So there yeah. is going to be, there is one. The second point which I wish to make is America has to very soon make a choice in the strategic partnership to what extent it wants to walk with India and let Pakistan tag along or abandon it. Because that, to me, is the biggest baggage you carry. The third point is that China is watching very closely how far India and the U.S. develop this relationship. Yes. If America wants to reap the dividends of its look Asia policy or rebalancing of forces, it has to give a greater signal to China. And, India's and, finally, and finally, finally, my last point, U.S.-India relationship is going to be all about long-term persistence and patience. Yeah. You don't Thank have you. the patience. That's you, exactly right. Yeah, yes, you don't have the patience to be with India in this, then you'll not be able to walk your talk. No, I'm not, absolutely. I, I, you know, but now we are about 14 to 15 minutes from, uh, from, Modi's, from Modi's speech. I, 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 I would urge you know, all our viewers to stay tuned because we're not taking any breaks till then. But, but, pro, but pro, 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 Professor Cohen, see where we have come now. We, you, we started with defense and we are back to Pakistan for a substantial reason. The way I draw the link between where you started and the last comment that, that Maruf made is simply this that we want to happily do lots of business with you and we are going to do $100, $100 billion of business. But we also now no, don't just want the defense trade cooperation agreement to be uh, followed up. We, we want the U.S.-India defense relationship. The present understanding, I think, ceases in 2015, so it's got to be reset. We want that to be, become stronger, but you have to make a choice. As in the Americans must make a choice in the subcontinent. And that choice is not to dump Pakistan, but certainly to be more assertive vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan and not appear to be helpless vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan, which Professor Cohen, frankly or not, America is not helpless vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan. It may be disengaged, it may be disinterested, but in view that there is a strong India-America relationship possible, if only it makes a clear choice, you know, it will help. India's interest and America's interest and actually China's interest is to have a normal Pakistan, not to see Pakistan go off the rails. Pakistan could tomorrow incinerate India. It has more nuclear weapons than India. They're not e they're equal in that sense. They're not equal in any other sense, but in terms of destructive power, they are the same. So you know, we, we have to be careful in dealing with Pakistan. India, I'd like to see more Indian ideas about how to normalize Pakistan. No, but where, where, for example, as America exercised and demanded stronger controls on Pakistan's nuclear proliferation issues, it's been extremely tolerant of that, up to the point which, uh, which it even made Nawaz Sharif uh, complacent enough to go to the UN Security Council and demand the same status at India. Uh, they've been demanding vis -vis that for years. Yeah, but, but they have you been know, demanding. But nobody's you know, been listening. But they've been demanding. In a certain area, we all talk about a dirty bomb. We know how unstructured the country is. We, you know, recently, a Pakistani naval ship. Uh, was actually uh, almost taken over by insurgent groups. So it's an unstable country. You're not, you're not, pro I agree. Pro Professor but, Goyen, you're not, you're not, you're not. Uh, you, but you sound, uh, you sound like the Americans who said, let's nuke the Soviets during the Cold no, War. No, certainly Get not. rid of them. Well, how would you deal with Pakistan? Tougher, tougher how with would, Pakistan. Well, how tough do you want to be? Uh, well, uh, then, okay, let, 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 let me, let me give you, a, let me give you, no, 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 one second. Let, I, 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 I can see an Indian, reasonable Indian position saying, we'll use force against Pakistan. No. But then you've got to take the risk. No, I, let me, let me give you a straightforward example. Example of that, you know, you give these, you keep extending your 400, 500 we million want, dollars. You want us to run your Pakistan policy we, for we, you. we want you. We want you. We would like you. We can't say we want you, but we would like you to clearly draw a link between the military assistance you give to Pakistan and. Uh, their action on the lashkar e toiba and the Haqqani network. I don't know how difficult that is and why that That's should be That's coming to an end as our relationship with Pakistan comes to an end. You think so? Uh, is it going to happen? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Well, the Pakistani ambassador last week said Hafiz yeah. Saeed is a free man. He's the man who organized the Mumbai attack. Six American well, Pakistan, also died in that. Pakistani not, should pay for that, I agree. There but they're not paying for it. Well, they should be, and that's a fault of American policy. I don't make American policy. Well, shouldn't America give a, push them a little bit more? Well, I think we should. You know, I've written that we have. You know, that's my on the record. You know, so, um, so from an Indian so perspective, 
I, I agree with India's policy on that. You're right. So, but, but, but on the other hand, it doesn't mean cutting off Pakistan. But then it's what? America's fault, isn't it? Obama put India off the radar on those issues. After the I agree. Deal I agree. I've, I've been saying that for two, four years now. Obama sort of ignored it. But can it be know? a fresh start from there? I mean, they are from uh, clearly, you know, clearly India America, there's been a, a big country with a complicated set of interests and a complicated foreign policy. Most you could large say countries the same, are. Yes, you could say the same about the United States. Mm -hmm. I think you have to be able to deal with the issues as they come up and to create the broader pattern of trust out of the raw materials that you have. Yeah. I don't hear Mr. Modi saying that unless the United States effectively cuts off its relationship with Pakistan, no, he's India not will have that. nothing to do with it. No, he's because not he's got other fish to fry. He's got other interests in that yes. game. That's what <coughs> it means to be the leader of a big and serious Mr. country. Mr. Modi needs to create a million and a half jobs every month to keep half the population who are under the age of 25 working and growing that economy back to 8, 9, 10 percent range. In the end, our best antidote of all the issues in the region is deepening the commercial partnership between the United States of America and India. But understanding on other issues, you see, you want to do business. Let me just give and you something more. And we do more. that one step at a time. Yeah, but, but let me again, you know, I, 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 let, let me give you one example. Yes, Ambassador, you wanted to come in.